drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos students let's continue our topic alkyne in the previous video we have discussed about the structure nomenclature and isomerism in this video we will discuss about the preparation of alkynes it can be prepared either from calcium carbide or from vicinal dihalide so first let's see how it can be prepared from calcium carbide okay it could be used for the laboratory preparation as well as the industrial use okay so the acetylene it could be prepared on reaction of water with calcium carbide formula of calcium carbide is cacl2 on reacting with water it produces calcium hydroxide as well as the required product acetylene okay now how can we prepare calcium carbide so calcium carbide can be prepared by heating calcium oxide which can be obtained from limestone and cook in a electric furnace at 2275 kelvin so on heating calcium carbonate will break down into calcium oxide and co2 gas will be released and this calcium oxide will be reduced by carbon and calcium carbide will be formed and this calcium carbide on reacting with water produces acetylene next how it could be prepared from vicinal dihalide okay as we have seen in a previous video that alcoholic koh is used in dehydrohalogenation okay so if vicinal dihalide it goes dehydrohalogenation then one hydrogen will be removed and one bromine so bromine will be removed and we will get a alkenyl halide okay which could be further treated with soda lime and we will get a resultant alkyne we cannot use this alcohol alcoholic koh because it is not that much basic to abstract the hydrogen whereas uh, sodium amide nanh2 it is highly basic it will abstract the hydrogen and then the bromine atom will be pushed out to form the required product acetylene okay next the properties of alkyne so first the physical properties so what about its physical state and uh, the smell so the first three members ethylene propylene and butylene they are gases at room temperature the next eight members they are liquid and higher ones they are solid and they all are colorless okay and the ethylene it has a characteristic smell that is garlic like smell okay next is solubility they are weakly polar so they will not be soluble in water and they are lighter than water so they can float over water and they are immiscible that means they will not dissolve in water but they are soluble in other organic solvent just like petroleum ether carbon tetrachloride benzene etc okay next is melting point and boiling point the melting point and boiling point of the members will be slightly higher as compared to the alkanes and alkenes the reason will be that they have a linear structure so the molecules they are closely packed as compared to alkanes and alkenes okay and the magnitude of the attractive force they will be higher and so the melting point and boiling point will also be higher and as we have done in our earlier videos that the melting point and boiling point 
as in case of alkanes and alkenes it increased with the molecular mass so here also it will increase with molecular mass okay because with increase in molecular mass the weak van der waal forces of attraction they increase next is chemical properties so first is addition of dihydrogen they could be reduced with hydrogen in presence of a catalyst like finely divided nickel platinum or platinum okay and this reaction will be known as hydrogenation because hydrogen is being added so first of all uh, it will convert into alkene then further it could convert into alkane next is addition of halogens okay it readily react with the halogens okay and it is that's why used as a test for unsaturation the reddish orange color of the soluble solution of bromine on reaction will get decolorized okay so on one mole it will react and both the bromine it will be added again further the bromine atom could again react and then tetra bromine alkene could be formed next is hydrogen halide addition okay so hydrogen halide means hydrogen and then halide atom like chlorine bromine iodine so hcl hbr and hi will be there it could be added and two moles are used then it give rise to gem dihalides that is both the halide will attach to the same carbon atom okay so first of all one h will be added over here and br will be added to the next carbon atom okay then again the h will be added over here and then br the marconic of addition okay so we'll get dibromo ethane okay next is addition of water so the reaction will happen in presence of mercuric sulfate and sulfuric acid so hg2 plus okay and by that hydrogen will add to one carbon atom and oh will add to another carbon atom okay and then this will this is the enol form okay so they will rearrange or isomerize and keto form will be obtained so from alkyne we could easily form a ketone or aldehyde okay using this mercuric sulfate and sulfuric acid as a catalyst if the uh, triple bond is present as a terminal position then we will get aldehyde if it is at not at terminal position then in that case we will get a ketone because instead of h there will be a carbon atom okay next is polymerization so linear polymerization could uh, simply produce the polyacetylene of polythene okay it is a very high molecular weight polythene and the re repeating will units will be just like this okay and there could be also cyclic polymerization in which it could form the benzene okay and we use a catalyst red hot iron tube okay and it is one of the best route to produce aromatic compounds from aliphatic organic compounds thank you